All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do today is uh, I actually broke my sander, my big uh, drywall sander. Uh, I don't know if it was a factory issue or what, but uh, so I'm waiting on a sander to come in so I can keep going on the fairing here. Um, I'm gonna jump onto the swim platform and get this knocked out. I gotta round these corners here and here, and it's and then I gotta put a doubler all the way around the edge of this, all the way around. And then I also have to resupport where the swim ladder is going to go. It finally came in. Uh, we had major issues ordering it, but finally here. So I'll be able to kind of mock up the swim ladder, see exactly where it's going to go. I'll put uh, a doubler on each side of the swim ladder where it bolts through the platform. And uh, yeah, that should get us pretty good. This will be the last thing to glass uh, on the bottom of the hull. So I'm trying to do this without cutting through the table. Oh, God. <laughs> did was I just cleaned up one edge on all of these. These are the scrap pieces from uh, our hull panels. Uh, I cleaned up one edge so it's nice and straight and we're gonna run strips off of this. That will allow us to put a doubler all the way around the edge of the swim platform. So we're gonna make a double thickness. So that's the plan. We'll, uh, we'll cut strips of this, fit everything, glue it down. We're gonna fiberglass over the doubler and over the edges of the swim platform and that'll be a finished deal and we can start fairing that as well. And that'll be uh, a wrap to the bottom of the hull once it's all fed and painted and then we can flip it and then we can flip it She mounts under the deck, uh, kind of like so. All right. And then these pieces, I'll send this all along here and mark it out. These pieces should kind of come up and level and give it a little bit more support underneath here. Kind of like this. And that'll all get glassed into place. Um, the whole idea is that the water is just kind of out of the way. If you're in the water, easily discharge the ladder down to be able to get back into the boat and it folds up really easy um, well, easy enough anyway for uh, you should really do it pretty easy from the top uh, afterwards Everything is prepped for 
to glue down and fiberglass. I took the cutoffs from the original corner on the bottom here, and uh, that's gonna fill the inside corner. Just give me a nice kind of look. I mean, you're not really ever gonna see it unless you're in the water, but you know, it's the small details like that that really make a difference in, uh, in building stuff. Uh, once I glue it down, I'll come back and I'll trim this final corner under here and uh then i'll route the edge you see me route all the edges of these just to make a radius for when i fiberglass over it, uh and a fiberglass over the whole thing right down to the bottom all the way up over the edges and then back down onto the swim platform itself uh, unfortunately it seems a little cold i'm gonna go check the temperature right now um i don't know if, i know i'm not gonna be able to fiberglass i might be able to squeak in uh gluing this down uh i'll have to check and uh We'll go from there but either way everything's prepped ready to go for when we do have a warmer a warmer spell here and uh yeah good to go so that'll be our swim platform um i will probably cut a couple more pieces just to gusset this side back to the transom itself um just to add that little bit extra support it seems you know like a lot of people do that it'll be out of the way if uh if we should catch a wave through the tunnel or anything it, it'll still be out of the way it won't go any higher than the side here so um yeah uh, i think that's about it so i'm gonna uh button this up and see if i can't uh glue these down today and we'll go from there it's a little bit warmer today uh, i'm gonna, just gonna knock this out real quick i'm just gonna wipe everything down with acetone uh mix some th mix up some thickened uh, epoxy and uh get them down and clamped all right guys today we're using total boat two to one fast hardener uh resin and epoxy we're gonna mix it with some colloidal silica make up a thickened uh, epoxy here glue everything down clamp it all good and let it cure and then i'll come back and fiberglass over the top later uh be sure to good check out total boat guys uh if you use code dauntless at checkout you should get 15 percent off i believe it is on your first purchase through them uh definitely check them out they've been really good to us Easily, cool. So that's the doubler. That's the doubler. Now I still want to put a piece from from here back to here later, but I need to find a glass of this all in first to make this all solid. Okay. So. And unfortunately, the weather beat us. We ended up wrapping it up for the winter and moving things inside after this. But don't worry, we have plenty of other content to bring you, so stay tuned for next week's episode.
All right, guys, today we're using Total Boat 2 to 1. All right, guys, today we're using Total Boat 2 to 1.